take three. <laughs> she is Michelle. And he's Ned. And collectively we are known as MyPhilippineDreams.com. Welcome to yet another episode of Weekly Wrap Up where we recount to you the going on in our rather uneventful life. First up is the weather. Uh, a low pressure area seems to have stalled uh, over Negros, which is kind of nice because it's very nice and cool. Mm -hmm. And I actually realized how, how much I've become acclimated to the heat here. We were at uh, Aton Kamali yes. last night, and it was two uh, new guys, two Germans who had recently arrived next to us. And it was pretty cool, um, but they asked the guy to turn the fan on, the giant fan, because they were sweating. So I have acclimated a little bit. The downside of the weather is Michelle is on vacation, and we had plans to go somewhere, but, I mean, Casaroro Falls, Twin Lakes, but even just making those little short day trips mm -hmm. has been kind of squashed because of the really unsettled weather. It's pretty gross outside. Um, you might have seen our Christmas party video. Uh, the Christmas party went very well. Yes. Yeah, um, everybody had a good time. Michelle did a lot of cooking in a very hot kitchen that day. And then the rain came in, but then the rain went away, thank God. Um, so the kids were able to go outside and play and do the dance routines and singing and all the parlor games and stuff that we did. And we, they got prizes and it was bubble palooza and all that stuff. Um, so that was great. And I got a lot more footage on that. Um, I just got to go through. It's going to be a lot of processing on it. Um, but we got some pretty good footage. Yes. Yeah. Um, Michelle, again, is on vacation, and unfortunately, the weather's been bad. Um, we haven't been able to do much, um, so it's been rather disappointing. Yeah, it's, uh, but, I mean, once the weather improves, we'll go to, like, Sikihor on the weekend and start hitting some places, but there's just not much you can do when it's raining, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the website, our website's been having some problems. It was SSL security socket issues. Um, so when you went to it, it was reporting it as a bad site, malware, and all that stuff. Um, it has since been corrected, but we're blacklisted by Google. Yeah. Yeah, they blacklisted us. So we had to put in a um, request to get unblacklisted, and it should be within 24 hours. Um, the site scans clean, everything's clean on it. Uh, we're also on Facebook. If you are a YouTube subscriber and you want to follow us on Facebook, Click on the little link on the video description, mm -hmm. and you can do that. We're usually putting up videos and little snippets of life here and uh, our exciting life in Dumaguete. Um, we also signed up for Patreon.com, um, which is a site where you can voluntarily donate some money to certain activities that are going on with the artists, because yes, we are artists, um, some of the things that they're doing. And some of the people had asked, and we got some messages and emails saying, hey, you know, I really liked what you did with the kids. Um, is there any way I can contribute to that? Um, we're going to try to do something. I don't know what yet. I just want to make sure that it's completely transparent. If we're going to be doing something mm -hmm. like this, if people are going to be um, contributing money to certain things, maybe getting the kids a bike or, you know, who knows, dental or whatever. Um, I just want to make sure it's completely transparent. So if you are a YouTuber or you have experience in this, um, just send us, a, send us a message, send us an email, um, how you recommend we should do this to make sure, because there's been some other YouTubers that have asked for money and then there's, it's been questionable about what's happened to it. And I just don't want that reputation. I don't want my integrity, my tattered shreds of integrity <laughs> I've left uh, put to question. Um, we're also thinking about doing a Michelle YouTube channel. <laughs> well, I am. She doesn't seem too enthused, enthused about it. But I think that would be pretty cool. Um, you know, a Filipino's perspective on life in the Philippines, um, being in a relationship with an overbearing, unexciting expat. You know, just, you know, your experience. I think it would be pretty cool. Plus, you know, give, give you something to do. It'd be like a hobby. Um, we still have a bunch of stuff for sale. Um, if you want to see the listing, you can go to the Dumaguete Info Forum, and it's in the classified sections. We still have our laptop for sale with a brand new video card. We've got a 7th generation iPod. Um, we've got the 3GS in mint condition. There's a bunch of stuff. Just stuff that kicks around and we never use. Um, our house hunt continues. Yes. And the problem we're running into with the house hunt is that the landlord has a 10,000 peso deposit. Yes. And... Like we just, um, a place 
that piqued our interest just came up, but we had given the landlord 10,000 pesos, you know, like not even a week ago. So that's 20,000 pesos and the place is available now and there was a bunch of people looking at it. So if we take it, we'd be out 20,000 pesos. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of a bad hit. So I think what's gonna happen is somebody eventually is gonna be leaving, it's got a nice place, and we're just gonna slide into it that way. Uh, Michelle also got a DigiCam. Yes, I got a DigiCam. I bought it last night. But now the girl, she's just an Asia, I think she's just about 14 or 15, texted me and said her aunt, because it's actually her aunt's date, the cam. Oh. Her aunt wants wants it back. So she wants her camera back that she sold you. Okay. Yeah. So. And she got a good deal. It's a it's a Sony CyberShot. It's one of the first ones. It's only six, six megapixels. Mm -hmm. Um, the flash is broken, but it came with a SD card, and you got it for seven hundred pesos, which is like what, sixteen dollars? Yeah. But now she wants it back. So hey, it's you know. Transactions in the field. She sold her aunt's camera. Yeah. That's what it looks like happened. Uh, we also put up the video on mountain bike Dan. Mm -hmm. um, that's, I actually took that video like three months ago. Apologies, <laughs> Dan. It, it was a lot of video to go through, and I tried to stabilize it, and I really couldn't. So, um, And we also got more Christmas videos coming up. Uh, it's a lot of footage. i got to go through it, but I think it's some good footage. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, you know, when you get the kids and stuff and their parents are just like chilling out and the kids are just running around having a ball, you know, that pretty much embodies the spirit mm -hmm. of Christmas, you know. That's the real gift is being able to experience something like that um, and just seeing how, you know, cute and wonderful these kids are. And I don't think I was that cute and wonderful when I was a kid. Really? Was I, Mom? Uh. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, we also got New Year's coming up. We have no definitive plans for it. I'm an early bird. I usually sleep through New Year's. Yes, I sleep through Christmas. I sleep through everything. He was snoring. I was there awake, wide awake. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I don't know what we'll do. Maybe something exciting. I know Henry's going to do something exciting, so you might want to tune into his channel. He doesn't go to bed till like 4 a.m. He sees the dawn. He sees the sunrise in the morning. Um, so that's about it. You got a stalker. Yeah, you have a stalker, uh, guys. If a girl snubs you or, you know, just rebuffs your advances, don't get insulted and glare at her and give her the finger. That's not too cool. Yeah, and then start... And then start, like, following her, so she has to, like, go to the McDonald's attendant for <laughs> safe... For help. Yeah. And I know who it is. I'm going to talk to him, and we'll see how it works out. But, yeah, don't be that guy. You know what I mean? There's more than enough people out in the world for you to ply your advances upon. If someone says no, man, it means no, you know? Come on. So I'll be talking to him. Hopefully that will end well. I have Phil help, which covers hospitalizations <laughs> if it gets really bad, if it gets ugly. Um, but hopefully it won't. I'll just have a pleasant sit down. So that's about it. Um, again, check us out over on Facebook. Our site is still a little wonky. Mm -hmm. um, Google hasn't replied yet to see if they're taking us off the black. I found out that 6,500 sites a day are blacklisted by Google. Really? Yeah. Wow. And it's mostly um, malware and SSL issues, security certificate issues. Um, and that was my, that was our internet provider, um, our hosting, I mean, and it's had since been rectified. So again, I don't babble on too long. That's about it for our weekly wrap up. She is Michelle. And he's mad. And we are my Philippine dreams, and we'll see you next time.